Yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Besides the known as Imeo rebels who are supporting William Ruto's government, Nairobi Women Representative Esther Pasaris becomes the first Azimio elected leader to throw her weight behind the finance bill 2023. In this video, I want us to have a look at some sentiments made by Esther Pasaris. For the sentiments are going to form the basis of our analysis in this video. I support certain aspects of the finance bill and I also support the fact that government needs money to run its affairs. I would rather the money comes from tax than debt. Esther Pasaris, 6th June. Thus today. So in a nutshell, Esther Pasaris is just indirectly telling Kenyans that she will vote in parliament to support the finance bill. That's exactly what Esther Pasaris is trying to say here. Because the finance bill will be voted for as a whole, not some sections. It will be voted for as a whole. I want us to reset those remarks for Kenyans to understand the games being played behind the scenes. Before we do that, let me remind those who may not know, we have a medical appeal for Nudin Salash from Kajiado. The remaining balance is about 1 million Kenya shillings, though we've raised some amount, the remaining balance is still around 1 million. Nudin is to undergo a kidney transplant at Medihill Hospital, Parklands. If you want to send a contribution, send all your contributions to 0722-735-065. Let's help Nudin undergo a kidney transplant. Back to our analysis. Yes. What does that mean? Pasaris has just betrayed the people who trusted and elected her as their representative. And I'm saying that because if you were to do an opinion poll, a scientific survey in Nairobi, a hoping majority of Nairobi residents are against the finance bill 2023. Pasaris knows that, Ruto knows that, and the leader supporting William Ruto and supporting this bill, they know that. But they rather side with William Ruto than to side with those who elected them. A confirmation that this leader supporting this bill, they have just turned against those who, support, who elected them, those who supported their election bids. So Pasaris has just betrayed Nairobi residents. That's the first thing coming out very, very clearly. And then when Pasaris says, I would rather the money come from tax than debt, it means that for you to defend a William Ruto's government, you must lie. Because in this case, Pasaris is clearly lying. As I talk, Till now, June, this government has borrowed about 1 trillion Kenya shillings. And the money they've been borrowing, they can't even account for the amount they are borrowing. Let me show you some quick statistics here, which will form the basis of our next analysis. Where is the money? If you look at KRA revenue collection 
from September 2022 to March 2023, 1.557 trillion. That's what Ruto's government has so far collected. Government borrowing September to March was 689 billion. That's until March. Right now in June, the figure I know has most definitely hit 1 trillion. And if you look at all these amounts, total money received up as of March, 2.24 trillion. Where has that money gone to? Where has it gone to? Because on a daily basis, we are seeing the cost of living going up, the government not initiating any new development projects. Where has 2.24 trillion Kenya shillings gone to? This is a government that has been borrowing. So Pasaris should not lie to Kenyans that, <laughs> you know, she should not lie to Kenyans. This is a government that is borrowing. And as long as you support this government, you are also supporting their borrowing. And from those sentiments by Esther Pasaris, I strongly believe that as a meal, as a political coalition, should take very stern action against such leaders. Pasaris should, if possible, be expelled. Let Azimio have Azimio should have nothing totally to do with Esther Pasaris. Because I know what Esther Pasaris will do, as time goes by, she'll start warming back to Azimio. That's exactly her game plan here. So Azimio should actually work smart. Let Azimio expel this Pasaris from their alliance. People like Wavinia Leti, Machako's governor, Azimio should have nothing completely to do with Wavinia Leti. Look at Makweni governor, Mutula Kilonzo. Azimio should have nothing completely to do with Mutula Kilonzo, Wavinia Leti, Beatrice Selachi. And recently we also saw Paul Otuma pledging her loyalty to William Ruto. Azimio should disown those leaders early enough because if they entertain those leaders, they are causing some lukewarmness in the party and in the alliance. And actually they are even discouraging some other leaders who are, who are very strong in the party. Azimio should start with Esther Pasaris. Let them expel this Esther Pasaris because I believe this is the betray this is a betrayal of the highest order. As I conclude, it's coming out very clearly that Kenyans are on their own. These so-called elected leaders are not interested hmm, in speaking on behalf of the people. They are just in politics for their own personal and selfish gains. Kenyans are on their own. The bill will be voted for on Thursday in Parliament. Kenyans should be very keen. They should look at the elected leaders who will support that bill. And just as I've been saying here, Kenyans should reject those leaders in totality. Yes, Kenyans should reject them in totality. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. Just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. If you wish to send a contribution in aid of Nudin Salash and Agu, a kidney transplant, send your contributions to the number below. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Thank you.